Hey, it's Sonia and welcome back to my art YouTube channel. I am today going to do, it's like a bit of a vlog, again, quite short, a collection of some of the stuff from this week. It feels a bit of a jumbled week because, um, yeah, like my youngest has been on half days, it's teacher conference week, uh, there's a few other things coming up, but I have actually made quite a bit of art. It has been quite random all over the place. But um, no, it's been good. And I thought I would show you a few things. And then right at the end, I'm going to come back and just show you a bit of art from my desk. So yeah, let's go. So it's Friday and I thought I'd just show some of the work. This is an oil pastel that I started yesterday and then I came back in and, oh gosh, I can't pick it up. Oh my gosh pretty mucky um i don't i'm trying to be go heavy with oil pastels and um yeah i thought i'd just give it sort of like a sort of portrait but i don't i don't love it but at the same time there are if i go close in i do really like some of the mark making but the problem is, on a whole, it might work if this was a really big piece. Um, otherwise, I just feel it's a bit clunk clunky. But it was good to experiment, and I'm going to cover that with gesso or even do more on it. These are two... I did this this morning. This is for my um, daily art project. And it, I ended up doing two pieces because I was like, this is just collage. So my daily thing was to start with collage. But I really got into the collage and I was like, why not just keep this um, collage as a collage? Uh, whereas this one, then I thought, should I draw from this? But I didn't feel like it in the end. I just ended up going onto another piece, but adding a little bit of collage and then just coming in where I wanted to. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here and be careful because I've got acrylic paint out and so I am doing a little bit of I'm really trying to be it's not it's just painting but I don't know why someone's like put it I'm not going to get my paints out but I'm I'm determined to do it and I am I can do little spurts of it and yeah this is I'm sort of looking both at my own previous landscapes for inspiration this is landscapes and um in a way and also at books so it's abstract but it's i guess it's about landscape as well and memories and then over here i got back out this one um this was a completely different piece but i've been transforming it with yeah basically more acrylic but also trying some different marks i think i always used to felt oh i need to use a brush which is ridiculous really i mean i don't know why i just i didn't love some palette knife paintings i'd seen but at the same time i think you can add i do like some of the effects and now i want to do another piece as i've got the acrylics out uh have a go but on paper and that's my plan it's Tuesday morning and I've come in to, I need to tidy up this desk again, it's covered um, to make space, but uh, I was working on some landscapes, I made sort of a, I was trying to do a Patreon process video because I want to, I do love, I do love these sort of little wash landscapes and um, they're changing a bit actually because I went in, I haven't used any pencil at all. But um, I had some left on my palette and I just wanted to use up the paint because it was you know, Windsor and Newton paint. And um, yeah, basically I then covered, so I've got this sheet which is quite fun. I don't know where this will go. I was just using, this is going to be, trying to make an abstract on paper, I guess, but will it end up? But then I think I could cut segments out and stick it into one of my 
into the old sketchbook. And then right at the end, I just wanted to do a bit of the end of my session before I went in. It's actually quite funny. Yesterday, I forgot that actually um, my youngest is on half days because it's teacher conference week and he climbed over the gate because I was out here and I forgot he was coming home early. So, yeah, but this is my other sketchbook, which I'm also working in. So I was thinking, do I want to have a plan today? I've got, there's some things I do need to do, but I kind of just, I'm really happy being a little bit, this week is my free subject week. I mean, I feel like it's always probably going to turn out, turn out maybe to be a bit of a landscape week. Shall I go into paper and try and do sort of an app, a sketch from sketch? Because also I'm starting to think about prints again. And I think if I want landscape print, I like personally those sort of abstracted, well not abstracted landscapes, but like one of my landscapes did quite well. It was like a pink landscape, but the colours, it wasn't, it was sort of imaginary. Um, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not trying to make, as it were, landscapes of recognisable places to people. Um, I guess because if I was to buy a landscape painting, I kind of want, but I want a recognisable, no, I want, I just want a mood. I want something I'm, these are fun as journals for myself to look through because they contain sort of memories of places. They're, like, they're you know, from hikes and soccer matches and runs, but, uh, so that's why I think it's good to keep a personal journal for yourself. If you think about what you want, if I think about what I want above my mantelpiece, I'm not sure. I mean, this is quite fun because it's actually Palm Springs, but I don't know if it's necessarily, I could, you know, change up the colours, but I kind of like this big rock. Anyway, I'm not sure where I'm going. I thought I'd just share this um, as if I'm making a vlog, I'm sharing my thoughts and bits from the week. So I'm at my desk and it is Wednesday. I just had a call. So um, yeah, I did a bit of art in the morning. I did this bit and I wanted to show this segment because it's related to, I guess, I, um, what I've talked about before, like just planning ahead sometimes, even if you don't know what you're gonna make. So here I've got a little bit of, you can see orange gouache because it's in my bin now, but I had a very dried up, Got another tube I need cheese up and I don't know where I put it. One of my, I think I'll put it back in. I dried up, um, like this one is also hard, like when they get really, really hard. So then I open them up. I did put some into another little palette, but some I just use, I just want to use them up. And then it's like, so I didn't exactly intend to do orange this week, but this week is turning into a bit of an orange week because I have got some paper prepared. I thought to have a go with gouache, using it very watery, and it's really nice to see that you can get, this is, yeah, Windsor Newton gouache. You can get the sort of, the blooms, letting it spread. So then I can use this bit of paper for something, and I don't know what yet. And then I have got a bit, just this is like cheapish, well, you know, not cheapish. I mean, it's proper watercolour paper. It's the Canson, but you can sometimes get it a relatively, it's not top quality um, block or anything. But um, I'm happy with this. It's worked very well for pieces on paper because I'm less precious about it. And then this sketchbook, whoa. It's ending up quite buckly because I'm pre-preparing. I need to go back to this one pre-preparing the pages when I do have, I need to come back to that, a bit of paint left over. So I've got a lovely, a lovely sort of, just a block colour background that I can get experimental on. And this one here, just to say, you know, all this planning ahead sometimes, using your old bits of paint off, you know, your palette off, you've got paints out and you've got a two minutes before you've got to go back in or, do dinner, whatever you've got to do, like just sometimes making some marks. I think I showed on a Patreon video while I was doing a process. 
Um, I was sort of trying to use up the acrylic, get the acrylic, the acrylic rush, gosh, off my brush. And then I end up with these, I wasn't sure if these become, it's gonna become an abstract on its own, but I've just taken segments out because I can see there's little shapes that I can use. And it's just yeah, a fun way of using up stuff. And then I'm going to also, this is a very, I was going crazy with the oil pastels on this sort of self-portrait. I don't love it. It's like a vampire. I don't know what's going on with it. I guess that's sort of what happens when you do layer these oil pastels. There's layers and layers of them. And I could go on. I just got a point where I was like, I'm going to stop now. But what's happened is I went a bit too thickly on with this clear gesso. So it's. And you've got these marks. I thought I could try and cover them up, like, and maybe I'll use orange again since I'm in, but not necessarily that orange. I might go to like a neon acrylic, but I'm gonna have a go at filling that up. So that'll be fun to see where we go. I'm still, even though I'm not doing, um, it's not necessarily an abstract week, I'm still coming back to this sketchbook, which I made a, um, a sketchbook tour of um, recently because it is just a fun place to get to, especially in the mornings. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I say, it's a pretty short uh, collection of clips. Um, I did video some processes for Patreon this week, but I thought I would just show you to end this video where I'm at. It's been my free week, as I said, for my art theme. So yesterday, I think I was using up a lot of this orange, the orange gouache. I pre-prepared and I did but I'm really pleased I did um this I don't know what you'd call it really it's sort of based I've got some flowers over there it's kind of based on a still life that's in front of me but they kind of now develop I suppose become a bit illustratorish, like I don't know playful imaginary well not imaginary because I was looking at it but yeah they go off on their own tangents and I really like them they're bright and cheerful I think they make quite good prints so I was trying to get back to doing some work on um on paper I need to add something else here and then also what I'm going to do now is play around I'm uploading a video actually for Patreon but I'm also been I've been working a lot continuing to work in this my abstract sort of plain cheapy sketchbook which I've nearly filled up so yeah that's it's astonishing these these are just fun to have an experiment um and a play in okay so yeah that's been my week um it's been as per usual from a creative point of view a bit of a chaotic jumble but that's kind of how i like it i hope wherever you are you're doing some art maybe or whatever your creative hobby is and thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye